Jamar. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm Digger Digger. God free in the building. Mm -hmm. Now, now notice that me and Godfrey sound too. sound much better today uh, than Digger's sound. <laughs> yeah, we're we gonna did. we're gonna get her a mic and all that type of shit. We just you know listen, we're working on the kindness of the people. Okay, <laughs> we nigger rigging. She got duct tape and all kind of shit. So <laughs> barbed wire, barbed wire and duct tape. It's not barbed wire. I know it just looks. <laughs> it's icicle wax. See, that's it. I'm putting the fucking lights on. <laughs> I want to see the lights on. I actually want to see the lights on. Okay. Welcome to Patel's All Indian right. restaurant. Looking Turn it like on. a bodega. Turn it on. That's Indian alternative lighting. Welcome to... I'm about to... Come on now. Turn the light. Turn the light. Turn the light. Turn the light. <laughs> Want to see the lighting? Oh, shit up. Want to see the lighting? Nigger rigging. You're nigger rigging. I don't see no lights. Yeah. I can pull our They're all up. burnt out. <laughs> they are not. She, she got she to gotta hook it up to the neighbor's fucking um. arm. <laughs> this is like lampoon vacation. Oh, she got to hook it up to the neighbor's extension <laughs> cord. Where's Wait, Chevy man. Chase? Girl, you got That's duct tape and extension way. cords. They're not even plugged up. How about that? Let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows you. <laughs> he knows so now, you've oh, been so bad or good. So be good. Because they're not centered. <laughs> oh, you better watch out. You better cry. Better hey, not tell, I'm telling I'm you telling why. You why. Raw diggers coming <laughs> down. <laughs> We're well, taking a look, checking it twice. Yeah. Gonna find out who's not of your nuts. Hey. Yeah, All right, y listen. Now they don't look like, uh, now it look like barbed like wire. I like that. I mean, no. Now it looks like stars kind of behind you, like well, flickering that, see, stars. Was, that's what it was. They were, it was white, and I had on a, the little white fairy thingamabob, and it was like a white curtain, and behind it, yeah, it was cute. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to the shits. Welcome back, y'all. So you're not hey. a head. Hey, Digger, what's good? Uh, not much. We're chilling. We we got some topics to discuss. Um, you look okay. like you look like you got your face beat this week. I got my face beat this week, baby. Even though I'm already sweating and shit. But um, yeah. Um, the the quarantine look is over. It's time to get back to business, so here we are. I never had a quarantine uh, look. I've been I've been shaving my shit the whole time. Lucky I you. Well, see, I got shit. some braids, so you know I had to I had to run out and get braids. I was like, listen, what we not what we not finna do is uh is be um yeah still looking like quarantine while everybody else is hitting them up, hitting up some basements and shit. My barber's, my barber's been open two weeks, which is cool. They really, really designed it nice. All the barber, all the chairs got plastics. Oh, you know, gosh. And they got the mask. Shit is dope. Unnecessary and they got expense. But you whatever. Said I said unnecessary expense, but whatever. Um, Listen, before we get started and really get into things and dig a really, uh, you know, jockeys this thing home for us. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I just want to say, uh, if you'd like to donate to the show, go to cash.me slash dollar sign, you're not a mean, patreon.com slash you're not a mean. Don't, Oof, forget that's a long one. don't forget to subscribe to the show. Um, like, comment, click the notification bell so you know when we release new um episodes um you know uh man we spoke earlier but real quick again i just want to say rest in peace to fact checker Ray. yes sir uh we have a link in the description uh we'll put a link on the screen and all of that for his gofundme um you know for his and i'm also i'm service. also dropping it in the chat too so you know every so often as the chat scrolls i, I keep dropping full, it in 
YouTube Live, the description, it's in the description. The link is in the description right now. Um, yep. Also, speaking of health, you know, we want to make sure that we take care of ourselves. We don't really want to be going to hospitals right now because people's real weary about being around sick people. So right now, telemedicine is the way to go. Um, you can get discounts on prescription drugs. You can get blood tests done, um, mental health. A lot, of, a lot of services provided by telemedicine. And if you really got to go see a doctor, they can help you uh, get the best prices for uh, whatever it is you're going to get. So yeah, check out Health Alliance Network, Network, And uh, when you get your plan, put in your code LawJamal for your $10 discount. And so yeah, there we go. Let's get business, into the show. Business done. Into the show. So we have our format and what, we're, what we would like to do is just take a couple of moments just to kind of maybe a uh, small bit uh, recap some of the things from last week or even if, if this is the part where if we made any corrections or we just need to address anything or expound on anything very briefly. Uh, we had a very interesting conversation last week. I see we got the people going in the comments. Men yeah. are from Mars, women are from Venus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I just want to say that um, I think in the midst of Jamar and I bantering, we actually did not really uh, attempt to do what we were trying to do, which was uh, offer up some real, uh, you know, tangible solutions. And I, I just want to make this statement. We're not going to rehash the whole thing, but... Um, uh, one of the biggest things I see that is a hurdle, especially for our young Black youth, um, as far as the men, uh, a lot of people, a lot of y'all took the Black men stepping up to the plate uh, out of context. That is not just about money. Uh, it is also about time and just being connected, being there for your kids, attempting to build families when you, uh, you know, if you get a young lady pregnant, uh, a lot of times we're seeing young men by the eight and they're, by the time they're 19, 20, 21, they got two, three different baby mamas already. So uh, something I would like to see more of is our young men being more responsible and attempting to build families with the women that they are procreating with. Yeah. And women and women, because uh, uh, this is this is for everything. It, it takes two to tango. Uh oh, that's right and women. I need you women to stop being spiteful with these babies. I need you to stop weaponizing these children. Stop trying to hold them hostage, uh, you know, from the men who are attempting to be fathers. Allow these young men the opportunity and the space to grow and be fathers as well. Uh, we need to work <coughs> on rebuilding our family unit and our family structure. And this is how we continue as Black people uh, pushing through. And I'm just going to end on that note. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, and just to add on a little bit, um, I just want to say that, you know, in the midst of our hedonists, I, you know, I think we both I agree on both sides. You see what I'm saying? I just feel like we don't have the luxury of, well, I'm going to wait for you to do this. Now. I'm going to wait for you. We, we all got to get our shit together. It Men takes a team. And the women. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, and, 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 and at the same time, I don't, I don't want us to buy into the stereotypes that we're not doing a lot of the things that we need to do. Because there are a lot of people, a lot of brothers out there that are doing what they say. Hell yeah. Be doing. Hell yeah. And, and, and not, this whole and, this and whole media stereotype of, you know, I mean it exists, but I don't think it's as common as they try to make it. And for the ones that might be going through it, see I think what 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 took me back a little bit when we were talking was the assumption that um, that a lot of men are comfortable with 
allowing a woman to take the lead or whatever the case may be. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of these men, they, they feeling fucked up that they can't, <clears throat> that they're unable to do certain things. And that has to be understood too. Like, you know what I mean? Like Un understood. They're, they're not comfortable. Like, you know what I mean? Like, understood. And, yeah, yeah. But is just, it, do you, but do you understand that it's not always money? Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Listen, money is 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 a byproduct. Like everything starts in the mind. Like you know what I mean. Like and we all gotta get our minds right. You know what I mean. And yes, when we do that, we'll be good. Um, and yes, and and me as far as me, you know, cutting you off. Listen, you know, when I get into heated discussions, that's just gonna happen. Like, I'm sorry, you know, after the fact or whatever the case may be. If y'all don't like it, I don't know what the fuck to tell it's you. It's just like, what we do, son. I don't yeah, mean to cut you off. we do. Like, 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 I, I don't mean to cut you off, yo. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Y'all should know by now <laughs> that when shit get crazy on here, motherfuckers is going to get, I'm going to cut her off. She going to cut me off. Wait, it happens. Godfrey time. might cut somebody off. Yeah. It just happens. Like, you know what I mean? Wait a minute. And because you're the host, your voice, uh, your voice comes through. <laughs> when we're yelling at each other, I get canceled out, and it's just you just going. Yo, 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 Jamar, don't send her a microphone. <laughs> right, but see, this is you know. <laughs> listen, you know, I come from three brothers. You know what I mean? Like, I was the oldest, and you know. And you obviously you have just no some sisters. loud talking motherfuckers, like. <laughs> and you and you and you so, have no sisters. Well, you you got the right oh, sisters. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, you have I, no I sisters. Grow, no sisters. Nah, nah. See, this like, guy, no. Can't you I, tell? My, <laughs> my first, like, I have an older I, sister. When I had a when I had a daughter, I was shocked. Uh, oh wow! When I had a daughter, I was, I was like. Because I'm coming from three, but I didn't even really think I could. And then my first son was a boy. I didn't really think I could have a daughter. Like, and, and then I was like, oh, shit. So you have two, right? Yeah, I have a boy and a girl. Right, you know right. What I mean? um, <laughs> but I was just like, wow. I'm like, okay, life's trying to teach you a lesson here. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, That's how it always happens, though. It, it, it yeah. all, it, I, I, I wanted a uh, I wanted a boy. I ended up with a daughter. I thought me and my son. I thought me and my June June was gonna be uh, spitting bars <laughs> together. And listen, I'm not happy that I had a daughter. And it's, I just got know. a whole ass daughter. I'm telling my daddy. I'm <laughs> and I'm happy Dig is here to offer her perspective. <laughs> and, you know. Yeah. Get me riled up enough to. I have an older class. sister, younger brother, so I had a balance. Older sister, talk, you know, younger brother, so it was like a balance of female energy, male energy was even, you know. See, Jamar right. needed he needed me as a little sister in, in the house. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Maybe. <laughs> and and I would have been rapping too. What? Oh man, we'd have been fighting. Yeah, but you might have, you might have, yeah. If you would have touched my equipment or some shit, it would have been. A it would have happened. It would have like happened. If you would have came you? over with some other niggas or something too, Ooh. and in, like in touch my Ooh. and touch my set, yo. Sis, he, he's sis a rapper no too. Sis. He like he, he's a fan of yours. He just wanted to see you. <laughs> Nah, okay. this would have been before all of that. It would have just been like, yeah. I'm all right, like, guys. Get out of here. Let's get, let's get back to the topics. Let's get back right. to the topics. Let's go. Okay, so. So we addressed it. Let's go. That's right. That's right. And thank you for everybody weighing in, uh, making the conversation in the, in the comments very interesting. One, one of your, one of your, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna find out who he is, but one of them people hate me. I feel like every time I look in the comments, it's like one person that's just like, "Die, right, nigga!" <laughs> like, why you hate me so that's much? Everybody, they, everybody gets it. Don't matter. Yeah, yeah that's what. Just this one. At one point, Die, Rod, another. Dude. Welcome it's to the internet. Welcome to the internet. It don't matter. It's my dude, ass, yo. Yeah. It's like, 
I'm, I'm convinced he got a voodoo doll in me at home. <laughs> he can't stand me. He is hey, praying for my Yeah, job. they just need attention. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, so our first topic. Uh, companies and corporations all over the world are making drastic changes to their aesthetic but how much of their infrastructure are they changing? Mm. Now, now we talked about we talked about Uncle Ben being a real person whose logo is being removed. Uh, similar with uh, the cream of wheat logo and Aunt Jemima. Now, the family of Aunt Jemima is filing a motion to stop the elimination of the logo. In 2014, they filed a multi-billion dollar Wait, to lawsuit. stop to stop. To stop, to to, to, stop, to stop them the from removal. taking it down. To, the it's a real person. Okay. Got yeah. you. To stop the removal of the logo. Uh, in 2014, they filed a multi billion dollar lawsuit against Quaker Oats and PepsiCo, and they lost with prejudice. Um, mm. And I never knew the difference of with prejudice and without prejudice, but with prejudice means they actually they cannot refile. So they lost, it's over. Don't ask us again. I was just going to say if Fact Checker Rage was here, I'd be like, Fact Checker Rage, what does with prejudice mean? Could you look no, that with, up, please? With right. prejudice. But you went ahead, I, which you I, already went I ahead with your rage. own due diligence. I got rage. I got him. I got him Respect. ready. Respect. Thank um, you. So the question is, are we uh, being emotional uh, with unintended consequences? Are we erasing history? Uh, gentlemen, would you care to weigh in? Uh, are, you talk, are you talking about the Aunt Jemima one, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we touched on it before. Well, but, um, the, the family... Well, the I family think in general, right? not just Aunt Jemima, I think we're talking about in general. Are, yeah. are, are, are there unintended consequences mm -hmm. to this emotional response to taking, you know, just erasing all of this shit, like trying to change shit real quick because motherfuckers is mad right now. Like, like, oh, um, yeah, I, they're, yeah, they, it happened because they decided to go to the products because it's like white folks are trying to clean up their act because they see that a lot of shit is going down. They're tearing down statues. White folk, black people are knocking people the fuck out in the streets. We're not, we're actually angry finding like real anger. It's like, Real anger. We're talking about defunding the police. So the companies are like, oh shit, Aunt Jemima, change it. God damn it. Get rid of the Aunt Jemima. The, uh, and all of those. And if you look at the old Aunt Jemima pictures, they were slave and they were mockery. They made them look like clowns. They made them look like pickaninnies. You know what I mean? And those, those symbols, you know, back then, you know, white folks made us look like fucking, they, they made us look like pickaninnies on a lot of products, even in Europe. A lot of pr food products were sold, were sold with blackface characters, blackface servants. So my thing with the Aunt Jemima thing, okay, it's a real person. It's a, if it's a black family getting money, change. You have to change the image. You got it. We got you. Got it's it's branding. Companies rebrand, brand it to where it looks like it's decent. It doesn't look so slave like. Aunt Jemima sounds like slave shit. Uncle Ben's sounds like some slave shit. How can we change it to make it look dignified? Air Jordan doesn't sound like slave shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so there's got to be a way if you're going to, if it's, if it's that black family getting money, we can rebrand it with a black person on it, but you don't have to make it look slave and servitude like. Mm -hmm. Here's a, here's a better, here's a better idea. Why are you going out of your way to ch fuck changing the logo? How about get those people their money? Right. Well, well, here's here's what I wanted to touch on. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, like you said, they're changing logos, but but what do they do policy wise? Like within this within the company, how many how many black executives do they have? Right. You know what I mean? Right. right. Um, how do they treat their 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 black employees? And first of all, I, I don't even really like saying this word black anymore because. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. It's some shit like like we gotta like. What do we use? Original, maybe or uh, what original. Do we use? Let's let's this black thing. We gotta we gotta 
That's yeah. a whole next thing. But for original people, I'm going to say original right now. Let's just yeah. say original people. So, okay. um, like, how do they pay? What's the pay structure for original people? You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 are they getting benefits and all of that? Like, the average workers and all that type of shit. Could they be doing better in those fronts as opposed to, you know what I mean? Or are they just milking them and, 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 and making them work mad hours for the least that they can fucking pay them and all this type of shit? You see what I'm saying? Um, melanated. I'm sorry, I'm reading comments. Mel melanated. Oh, melanated. Yes, there we go. Melanated. Let's go with melanated. But but I don't... Black is, is yeah, actually a that. negative connotation. Like, and we got to stop calling... And first of all, this is all another subject, but that's why... Black people ain't gonna get no reparations because there is no black people. Like there is no land of black. Like like you have to have a place that you come from and all of that that you could trace yourself to to even think about getting reparations. So we as melanated people have to understand that we are the natives of this whole planet Earth and show and prove that we are part of the land and all that to even think about getting reparations. But that's a whole another story. Um, about that Did you hear about, oh, also, as far as white folks trying to clean up their act to get us to not protest the way we should be protesting, uh, yeah, they're going to be singing the, uh, <laughs> NFL is going to have us singing the uh, black, uh, the African-American national anthem, <laughs> the uh, lift every voice and sing before the games. <laughs> <laughs> they are so desperate. They're going to sing a James Weldon Johnson song, which white folks don't even know. Right. And what? have, and, and, oh, that's going to be funny. They're going to be just, and they're going to be mumbling like they know. They're going to be like, <laughs> uh, lift <laughs> every voice hey, and sing hey, at hey, uh, hey, hey. the freedom ring. At the, uh, what the, what they're going to be song? looking okay. around trying to see. Like, Can we get a the, remix? What Tyrone is saying. Like, yeah. Cool. Lift every Le voice. What is LeBron? What is, let me see with LeBron. If, okay. You know what it's gonna be like? It's gonna be like in the Olympics. You know when another when another uh, when another country wins a gold, you gotta hear their national anthem. You be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know when like Yugoslavia, a motherfucker be up there be like, dum -da -dum -da. you're like, what? <laughs> so so you gotta I, sit there and take that shit. So I also wanted to touch on though what we were talking about as far as the unintended. Um, consequences of all this emotional shit. For instance, the tearing down of the statues and all of that, okay? Like, I get it, you know what I mean? You don't wanna see these Confederate statues and all this type of shit, it's hurtful and all that type of shit. But at what point are we erasing history to where the future will forget that it even happened? Thus or, or, making or it, to, thus or making or it possible to, to happen again, or yes, or pretend like it never happened, thus creating a state to where it can happen again, you know, or exactly you whitewash it so much to the point where, what are you talking about? So we never did anything to you. You know what I mean? Like, there's no evidence of that. Like, like because everybody got hyped up and wanted to rip the shit down or whatever the case may be. Um, we have to think about things like that. You know well, what I mean? It's um, like putting... That certain monuments are there to remind you of what happened. Not, not always as a, you know, to big up, but, but, but to, to remind you of what happened as a reminder. So I'm just saying. Well, Jews don't have Hitler statues up. They, <laughs> you know, the, the Ashkenazis don't have Hitler, yeah. but the, but them motherfuckers will let you know. They'll, 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 they'll they got, they got every but you other learning week. The, but you know they, about that damn Holocaust. But right. They remind you through documentaries. They remind you through posters and they celebrate it. So what it, it takes for us is to be like, hey, guys, this is our, we have this Confederate week. We talk about <laughs> well, they control the media to the point where yeah. they're gonna make sure that you know about it. Yeah, because right. we know, we know, you know, it's like the civil rights stuff. They show footage. Yeah, take them, <laughs> fuck them statues because a lot of these, especially these 
southern motherfuckers, they be like, they, you know, they they go, yeah, that's right. That's why the statue's up there, because you name a name a name there. Fuck that. Take that fucking thing down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or, or you if you're gonna do that, you put up a black statue that was like, well, this guy did this, but this guy tried to fight against that. Be fair with it then. But other than that, it takes us to remind motherfuckers this is never gonna happen again. It's it's up to it's all everything is up to us, man. It's up to us doing that shit. The black politicians, those all the legislators gotta go, nah, we're gonna make sure we have to make sure that this this town remembers like Alabama, Mississippi, they remember what has happened. We like with the NASCAR, that that, that Confederate flag shit, fuck no. Take that shit off, man. Fuck all that. And 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 and, and for the record, that looked like a motherfucking noose to me. I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, was a the, the NASCAR news. Yeah, huh? talking about Bubba Wallace. And the NASCAR news. I like how it has a name. <laughs> the NASCAR. Um, news. Yeah. Um. And, and they're gonna say, oh, oh that's it. a. They said it's a pull rope, and it and 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 the fact that it's been there. Oh no, that's been there since oh. for months or some shit. Motherfucker, that shit could have been. I don't care how long that shit been there. Y'all yeah. probably got nooses around. You know what I mean? Yep. Like as decoration. Yep. Cause y'all some racist motherfuckers, yep. and that's the decoration of a racist. Yep. Like, like that doesn't mean that you know what I mean. That wasn't some foul shit. Like, who the fuck makes tie some shit or any knot other than a fucking noose like that? Yeah. Like, like I, if you wanna, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. The devil, you'll look at some shit <laughs> and and be like. This is what it is, and the devil will be like, "Nah, that's not what you see. That's not what you see. And why is there seeing a something noose? else? And why is there a noose? Why? Why you got a noose, man? Why the sun you got is ninety three million miles away. It's not right there. <laughs> speaking of noose? speaking speaking of uh, speaking of things that have been in your face that you are not aware of, and this is actually this this is this almost is a, a did you know? Um, Houston, Texas will no longer refer to the biggest bedroom in the house as the master bedroom. <laughs> Did you, like, all, all of your life, the biggest bedroom in the house has been referred to as the master bedroom. Damn. I have no idea that master's <laughs> Master's bedroom. See, see, you know what's so funny? It's Came like... From- Slave term. That, that's a slavery term. It's right? like they're changing things, though, that... that that some motherfuckers wasn't even thinking about. Right. Like, I wasn't even necessarily thinking about the master bedroom. You know what? That's some shit that need to change. But you keep calling it the master. But what's great is we should just let white people just keep letting us know what the real shit was. Like, oh, what are you changing now? Well, 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 here's some deep shit, though. Here's some deep shit, though, right? When I, when we first started making records, right? We go to the studio, right? And when you, cause usually like you'd have 24 tracks per, this is when you were recording on, uh, on tape, on two inch tape, right? Mm-hmm. So you'd have 24 tracks per two inch tape. If you wanted to go 48 tracks, <laughs> Uh, you still on? You still on camera? I don't know why, nigga. I, I'm, on, I, I'm on camera. I'm I just seen you duck down. Look like is you. That, is that your make move? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't know why I didn't switch off of you. I tried to talk too and then make it go <laughs> off. Okay. Of you, that looked at uh yeah. I made sure I was off camera though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to hook up another um 24 tracks to make it 48 tracks. Yo, you'd have one tape. One tape machine is called the master. Right. And literally the other one is called the slave. What? And what? the word is bond. Right. And literally, this is language that exists Damn. today right. within um like like musical uh equipment shit. Like this mastering slave shit right now. Like, 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 Pro Tools will be the master of, let's say, of uh, the MPC. So with that, when I press play on the pro, on Pro Tools, 
it makes the the play is pressed on the such and such, or I can make mm -hmm. the NPC the master, wow. and Pro Tools the slave. I guess like and this, and it literally says master and slave <laughs> on the dialogue. Like wow. like you're right. So Damn. you know, this I, is something I, I we had we had conversations know. about this in the studio before back in the days about this whole master and slave shit. But I didn't even think about this bedroom shit. You know what I mean? So like I, all I'm it, saying it, is it's just amazing. I say all that to say. They keep showing their hand. I was gonna say the crackers is they showing their hand yeah. because now they like, oh shit, they so paranoid because yes. they know all the foul shit they did. Yes. Now they pointing out shit that we wasn't even looking at. Like, well damn, master. Oh, the master bedroom, like. But but some of the stuff that like black people would that, that's something like you know you go to them lectures where they say you know why they call it the master bedroom, right? And then, <laughs> and, and, then and then we'll we'll know about that knowledge and people say, man, you going too far with this black shit. But white people <laughs> are literally going, no, he's right, he's right, <laughs> she, she's right. Uh, Sister Imani was right. Uh, yep, all that shit, no conspiracy theory, it's real. That's exactly how We're, we did it. We yeah, here you go. Yep, everything. That's right. Yep, everything. Yep, that's right. Oh man, you know what I'm but saying? You know, but you know what's funny? They're gonna, uh, they'll keep throwing all of that stuff at you. Oh yeah, we're gonna lift every voice and sing for the anthem. We're gonna stop calling the bedroom masses, but they ain't gonna have, bring up that reparation conversation. Yeah, they, they still try to <laughs> right, right, and they're it, not gonna and, it's... No redlining. They're not gonna. <laughs> You know. Right, and that's what I'm saying. Is this Texas gonna stop pulling niggas over on the highway and all of that type of shit? Like, like, right. are they gonna stop doing whatever they're known for doing to black people? Is that gonna stop, or are we just gonna change the name of the master bedroom? I, I think. I you think. I'm saying these these cosmetics. We not to cut you off, but no, we right. can't. You know, we've been constantly been fed these cosmetic, and that's why they're coming up with all these cosmetics right now. Because they know that traditionally black people love that type of shit. Oh, they named the street after me. Okay. You know what I mean? Shit is better now. Like, man, Martin oh, Luther King is the most fucked up street in every city that you go to. That's the yeah. you know, that's where the murders happen. Yeah. And, and, and he's supposed to be about nonviolence. Martin Luther King. And that's King where Boulevard. niggas get killed at on Martin yep. Luther King. Yep. So what the fuck are y'all talking about? Like, but that was some cosmetic shit at the time, and look what y'all turned it into. Yeah. So all these cosmetic um, appeasements, you know, we gotta stop going for that shit and go and go and get what's called the tangibles. Yeah, Tanahisi Coates. You know Tanahisi Coates. You know Tanahisi yes. Coates. Yeah, that he just did a little. He just had a. Uh, what is it when you go to the in front of the the senate or whatever he went and he read he he was talking about he did a really good uh a really good read about uh why we are owed um reparations man oh yeah just, I, I know exactly who you're that was dope about now. that was yes, dope I that he you know he's the author and he did right, a but again I think that, but if we say see see this is something like you got to be able to go to the united nations and all of that like this is a a united Nations. That's i why think I'm it's Malcolm. coming though i think That's it's really Mal coming but not for black people bro the reparations black people's not getting no reparations not if we go there as black people where is well, the land well, of we'll black see. bro we'll see but i know that where is black is land that rep I'm black just black asking you a question well, they where named, is black they, land they named what did they name africa the land of the blacks there was one, the, either Africa, it, well, Africa was named after that, that Roman conqueror, Africanus, but Ikebulon. Right, you're saying Ikebulon. Uh -huh. Ikebulon might, it doesn't, it doesn't mean something like the land of the blacks, some shit. One of these things mean that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, they say, they say things like that, bro, but like, yeah, here in America, right, legally, what black means and all of that, like, see, these are legal terms and all that. That's why yeah. the Moors know this type of shit. They know this fucking science. They've been dealing with this type of shit, white and black and all this type of shit. At one point, the white man was was, was black. Black actually means devoid of color. Devoid, but, right. um, when was that term given to us in the 15th century? to use to start separating us? This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, this term was given to us. And now it's being used to almost usurp our power. 
You see what I'm saying? And 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 keep us from our birthright. You know what I mean? Well, well, is right now we can, we can celebrate in our melanation. We are melanated right. people. We claim it. Right. But but yeah. even that, there's no land of you know melanated land. Like we I gotta, think gonna, I think you know oh, what I mean. I, we, we got to claim. Oh, now, wait a minute. Hang on now. We, we, we can make us a land of melanated peoples now. Yeah, I mean, of course. But what I'm saying is, y'all talk about these reparations. And I'm Never talking land. about legally how to get it. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to identify oh, with, with a tribe. Or you see what I'm saying? That's why the Indians and all that, that got them. That's why the Jews, they got land and all of that. You see what I'm saying? People that have land I mean, and all of that. They're well, they're able to get their reparations. A few a few episodes ago, we we talked about well, we were supposed to have a homework assignment. We were all going to come up with uh, decrees in our in our black oh. constitution. None of us did. Did anybody do their homework? Did anybody come up with any decrees? I hereby decree the, oh, decree that up. the people of the melanated world, the people of melanated descent. <laughs> get all of their rewards today. <laughs> and I it say that it will be ratified when all <laughs> atrocities are amended. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Rob. Amen. So, sounds good. You, you have on the, on, on the second day of July, second day of July in the year of 2020. I concur. <laughs> and, in our, and in our melanated land, we will not, I repeat, we will not whitewash Juneteenth. <laughs> what my girl Amanda Seal said on the BET Awards, y'all not going to sink up their mind on Juneteenth on us. Come on, we got more topics to cover, guys. So, okay. um, various questionable police killings are now resurfacing while we are still fighting for justice for Breonna Taylor. And also Elijah McClain. Now, check this foul shit out, guys. Colorado police officers have been suspended with pay. They didn't put it, but we know with pay. And mm. are under investigation over photos allegedly taken near the site of a memorial for Elijah McClain, a 23-year-old massage therapist who died last year following an altercation with police. The photos reportedly show officers from the Aurora Police Department posing inappropriately near his memorial site and reenacting the, the carotid restraint used on McLean before his death, sources told Fox affiliates uh, and CBS Denver. Interim Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson announced in a Monday statement that the officers depicted in photographs near the site where he died were immediately put on administrative leave as soon as she learned of the photos last week. So I say all of that to say, as if killing this young brother wasn't tragic enough, they had the unmitigated goal to go back to the scene of the crime, pose with the chokehold pose, and pose with the chokehold pose. Wow. But see, Digger, this is, this is what, this is kind of goes back to what we talked about a couple of weeks ago, where we talk about reach racial DNA. So this brings me back to the times when they would hang brothers and sisters, and there would be crowds of white people out there. They would have picnics, and they would take pictures in front of the hanging bodies, and it was a social event, Digger. The unmitigated goal to eat a sandwich and all of that with your children present and all of that. So to so that's just slightly reminiscent of those type of behaviors. And they don't he probably didn't even understand why he wanted to go there and do that. You see what I'm saying, Dick? Well, this they is the type they, of shit they say that I'm talking about. Criminal, they say every criminal returns to the scene of the crime. Yeah, but the scene of the crime wasn't at his grave site. You see what I'm saying? They, no, they no, no. were. I mean, the scene of the crime where they committed this young man. Like every every. Oh, that that's where they did this this thing at. You yeah, said it was at the scene of the crime. The, the I thought you said it was at the grave site. 
No, no, no. The the memorial where where the murder actually took place. Oh, okay. like, you know, like balloons. So they went to. Oh, oh, got you. No, they went to where uh, it actually they, happened they went in the first place. Right. And took pictures like in the original pose. Right, right, right. Well, to mm -hmm. me, that's still it's still symbolic to taking pictures in front of the body. You see what I'm saying? In front of a hanging body, smiling and proud of what you did. Like, like, see, and I don't even really like publicizing shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, like, like. Well, the reason, the re the reason why I, I found it important to bring this up is because these officers still have not been charged yet for his death. So, you know, we. No, we what I'm talking about is the image. I'm not talking about what you're talking about. I'm just talking about oh, the okay. images of us suffering brutality. Oh, right, especially, right, right. especially being hanged and all of that type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, we might have to show a quick picture of one while we talk about this, just to show you know how happy these motherfuckers were. You know what I mean? But yeah. You know, I really don't want to. I really I, don't I like to do mean. that. It's, I really don't like to do that. Like, but but I don't for wanna... educational purposes, yeah. sometimes you have to show the shit. Like you know what I mean? I know what you mean. I or don't else you end up whitewashing the shit, like we was talking about earlier, where we don't, when you don't we... show it, now you fucking try to act like it never happened. And I know these motherfuckers was having straight up picnics. And picnic actually is some racist shit. Pick a nigga. Okay, because that's pick a nigga. Pick okay. A nigga, yeah. Um <laughs> there's a lot of shit. And see, this is what we talk about systemic. Like it's so deep that the hate you can't even that? have a picnic now. You what see about the ice cream, the ice cream truck thing. That's a, oh that's a, that's that a, rides around. That's a nigga love a watermelon. Ha 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 ha. Nigga yeah, love a watermelon. Da, 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 da. And that shit is still riding around the hood, your favorite hood today. Yeah, it's right just, everything is geared towards the hatred of us. They hate us. It's right. They, they and hate that's the why, fuck and, out and of and black so, people. And so don't think the systemic shit is just the police. Right. Like, Hell this no. This is systemic racism in the fabric of the society. That yeah. these motherfuckers have created. Yeah. And so now they're gonna act like, oh, okay, well, let's just point the finger at the police. We're gonna defund the police because it's the police is the problem. It ain't just the police is the problem. But like, we need, but we need, we, but they, but they have everything. They got our psychological shit through media, education. They got our nutritional shit, food deserts, poisoning us. They got their right. bioweapons. They got that. Right. Then, the physical shit they use the police to kill us and beat us up, so we right. can't physically. So they got it all locked. Right. To control yet, us, yet, control black the people, people. and then the feminizing. Keep us safe right now. Feminizing, using the black, gay fuck. community also to fuck our shit up too. You know, to 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 trick the black gays as if their 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 rights. Their, it's about their gay rights. I said, no, you black. James Baldwin was gay. And he talked about black oppression. He didn't say, I'm a gay man. He goes, black oppression, period. But they're trying to, you know, they're trying to use all that. Sexual, monetarily, they're getting us on all levels, man. All levels. Look at musically, they're fucking killing us. Musically, shit is so whack. Woo! Man. Here's another, here's another uh, case that I saw. I actually, um, I actually signed the... Uh, a petition for it on change.org, uh, an, another, you know, another uh, questionable police killing. Uh, Natasha McKenna, an Alexandrian VA mother, uh, she was killed by police back in 2015 while naked, handcuffed, and Oof. restrained. She was diagnosed schizophrenic, bipolar, and suffering from depression since the age of 14. Uh, a 48 minute video was released of a naked McKenna heard grunting and crying out as deputies in gas masks and hazmat suits try to restrain her. In the process, they deliver four stun gun shocks within two minutes to subdue her. She stopped breathing shortly thereafter. Uh, Lieutenant Lucas Salzman is the lieutenant that delivered the fatal tase. Uh, and there's also a deputy whose name was not released, uh, 
being heard saying she was in, uh, it was like she was in demonic possession. Now, I've seen situation, I saw, now I saw a video, and I know we all saw a video not too long ago, the white guy naked, attacking the cops. Yeah, chasing the cops. them. Yep. He clearly, you know, he clearly was not uh, mentally stable yep. and, was, and was just treated with the utmost care and whoop, get out of his way and whoop, whoop. However, this young uh, woman who was a mother was uh, stunned four times. I, I don't know, you know, I'm curious to know at what point did she actually uh, continue to stop moving, but I'm, I, I would like to know. Was it necessary to stun her four times? And was it necessary to stun her at all, even if she's already handcuffed? Like, how much damage uh, to a group of police officers is a handcuffed woman doing? I don't care what state of mind she's in. So that is a case that is on change.org. Again, her name is Natasha McKenna. Uh, they are trying to uh, launch an investigation into the police in her case. So uh, you can go to change.org. Uh, if you go to change.org, as soon as you sign one, uh, they'll just start coming, flooding your email. Well, we need to look into this police killing. We need to look into that police killing. And it, it, it's really heartbreaking just to see how many of them have gone under the radar like all of this time. Hmm. Yeah. And, and it's also, but it's also suspicious, like, how they're trying to draw our attention to it now. And some of the things that, that they're, they're acting like are the solutions and all of this. Like, some of them are acting like they want to just, like, we talked about this already, like, get rid of the police in certain places. I mean, I do think, you know, with any, with any situation, people are always going to look for ways to manipulate the situation on, on all sides, you know, on the cop side and on, you know, black people's side. Like there are going to be some people, you know, that we are hoping are doing the right thing because they are black, but you will find that a lot of them will, you know, use this opportunity to manipulate the situation the same as white people or the same as cops or, any other political group that has an agenda, like anyone. Like be, I, I just want us to be careful again, not to cut you off, but I just want us to be careful because there's people out there who want to create anarchy. Okay. And I'm not saying black people. I'm just saying there's motherfuckers out here who want to create anarchy. And it would actually be in their best interest to not have any folks around at all. Okay. Like, we need to pro police ourselves, but them motherfuckers need to police for them. A, you understand know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like ourselves. you get rid of the police, and now you got a bunch of white people running around. Wow. We might be police in our own neighborhoods, but what the fuck are they doing running around? Wow. What kind of crazy shit they going to be doing? Like, them police need to be there to keep them motherfuckers in check too. Like, don't, 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 don't get it. Twisted. Well, like I, you know, like don't let I, your emotions take you in all these places that you didn't think it through fully. And, like I and, said, and we don't love the police, police. huh? I said, like yeah. I, you know, like I said before, if if the cops are, you know, homegrown, hey, y'all, y'all. Yeah, look we look need to police our own. Look we look need to police our own, powers. but. The police need to exist for those motherfuckers. Trust me. <laughs> Cause they'll get real crazy with, you know what I mean? With no fucking consequences around, shit could get real fucking crazy out here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Moving along. Uh, Trump is under fire for retweeting a protester from villages in Florida yelling, what power? I seen it. He was on a scooter or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And people were heckling them. Yeah. Fuck Trump. Yeah. Fuck him. Now, He's a now, fucking piece of shit. This. In a golf I, cart. I, I will say this. As fucked up as that was, that one guy said white power, but there were at least 
four other people like fuck Trump, you fucking Nazi. So yeah, right. It wasn't just you know. I I mean I'm objective enough to say it wasn't just Trump retweeting a white power tweet. This guy said white power, and then the rest of the motherfuckers let him have it. Trump and it was a bunch it. of white people actually saying you fucking. It was them yelling at you these folks, like some older white people. Too. Yeah, I loved it. The ladies like you fucking loser, you fucking. But it was great to see the bull. Ah, it was fucking great. Yo, yeah, that Susan was popping, right? Now, see, now what do we call the Susan that's actually... <laughs> I think that the Karen, there's Karen that's against us, and the Susans are for us. Well, no, I don't no, know if the like Susans you. are for us. Susan's, no, 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 I'm saying Susans if you see, are older Karens. What if you see... Susans you know, are saying, older Karens. Well, who, what would the white girl be that's actually trying, trying? What You've got to give okay, her... Okay, we right, we'll call her Suzanne. Suzanne? Uh, oh, Suzanne, Suzanne good? She she Amy? Whole, Chloe? She needs a, Chloe? Yeah, it needs a whole nother name. Amy? Chloe? That's well, an okay, Amy. Well, Karen, Karen, we could call Corinne. How about Corinne for Karen? No. <laughs> <laughs> Corinne? It should be Chloe. Oh, she's a Chloe, so she's with us. Okay. Because so Karen is the ones that are against us. Right? You know those There's Megans. Becky. There's Becky, Sally's, whatever Sally's. Sally's. Some people don't like the way that Sally walked, though. You see? Oh, oh some hey, people hey, don't hey. like the way that Sally walked. Yo, I actually know a black <laughs> Sally in this world, too. I know a black Sally from back in the days. From the Valley. She's really Sally from the Valley. Now, this is Sally from Now Rule. Okay. Oh, light skinned Sally. I, I knew a Sally too in, in college, light skin chick, adopted by white parents. Mm. Yeah, Sally. Damn. Okay, fuck it. Let's move on. All right. So, y'all ready to get into some juicy stuff now? Yes. We, we, oh, we, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and, and I heard this, that there was rumors going around that this nigga Trump might drop out. Drop, he <laughs> might. That's well, good. Why are they saying that? Maybe his health sucks. He they is, said that they. Because he's mad that they're trying to sabotage him or some shit like that. He is very, yeah, he's very concerned about his numbers. I mean, he's scared of getting his ass whooped. You see, he's a big brat. He's a sore loser. And he had a, he had a, he had a, 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 a show or a, a rally and like nobody came or some shit like that. Yeah, that, that. was great. Rally. <laughs> That was fantastic. He tried, he tried to say that he 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 tried to say that the local authorities were stopping people from coming in because come on. <laughs> and, uh, he tried to say the, the the Black Lives Matter protesters were blocking them and whatever. Nobody was beat. And yeah. suppo and supposedly half the damn rally went home with Corona. Allegedly. <sighs> allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. allegedly. It, it didn't mess with the protesters. It got them rallies. It got the Trump rally people. <laughs> I'm rolling. Hey, whatever's on the right side of history, I'm rolling. <laughs> Anywho, all right, we ready uh, to get juicy? Get with me. I'm on the right side of history. All right, go ahead. What's up? Uh, are we are we, we ready to get juicy? Okay. Let's yes, ma'am. Juicy time. Tea time. What's juicy? Uh, August Alcina. Oh, oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, buddy. Oh, shit. Yo. I might have to roll up for this. Because I didn't fully, I seen the boy talking. Would you wait a minute? Could you let me get through the narration? Go ahead. They ready. Shit. And gushed about being in a relationship with Jada Pinkett with Will Smith's blessing. He went on to say their marriage had transitioned into a life partnership, which many presume that mean to, uh, that to mean they are in an open marriage. Many took to social media calling Jada predatory, citing that August has a history of being emotionally unstable and her being almost 30 years his senior should have made better choices. Others feel that she was just simply getting her groove back. Thoughts? Take it away, gentlemen. Whoa! <laughs> First of all... <laughs> It, okay. Oh God. Should I it, should I put my helmet on? Cause I don't know what the fuck about to come out your mouth. I'm no no no. I'm just saying, yo. If we keep it a thousand, right? Okay. We've all heard rumors yeah. for years. 
Oh, yeah. I'm talking years. And these rumors consisted of Will and Jada Smith be swinging. Yeah, Hollywood swinging. Gunshots, my youth. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we've heard that. We've heard that Will and Jada Smith was in an open relationship and that they be having sex parties and all kind of shit. This is shit I've heard. I ain't never yeah. seen it. I yeah. ain't never been to one. Never got invited. But this is shit that I've heard on numerous occasions from numerous people over the years that are behind the scenes and all of that type of shit. You know, there's other things that I've heard too, you know, about Mr. Smith, who I'm not even going to get into those details, but I'm just, I'm just going to get into the basics that they like to swing. This is what I heard. So now, fast forward to this story of Mr. August Alcina, um, coming out to in the public about this, you know, because it seemed like they. Even though it was an open secret, they still were trying to keep it private. They never admitted to it, you know what I mean? Um, and so now for him to come with this, this is kind of like, oh shit. You're basically confirming what everybody has always heard. Like, And so, wouldn't you think someone of their statue would have a, a, a non-disclosure agreement or did he just break it? Like, what the hell? Well, see, that's what I'm saying. When you've been doing something for a long time, like maybe they, you know, there's unspoken shit that goes on sometimes. You know what I mean? Maybe people just didn't tell on them on the strength just because that's Will and Jada. But he was like, you know, he was just. But I heard he has not, an album coming out. I heard he has an album coming out. So he, he did perfect timing. I heard he has okay. an album coming out. So he's probably trying to get that little, you know what I'm saying? But Jada, they were, I was watching an interview. She was on somebody's show. And, oh, oh, it was Mark, was it Mark Lamont Hill? Uh, yeah. He was like, yeah, so you guys are known to be swinging. She goes, that people be always saying that, but we never were swingers this whole nine. She was like, That's, people think we swing, but we've been, you know, she could be, who knows, man. But I heard the same thing. So, so I, so, so, so then if you're not swingers, what is this? So, so y'all together. Now let's, let's, not po together. let's pose an alternate theory. Let's, 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 uh, let's pose an alternate theory. What if August Alcina is really like making this all up in his oh, head? Oh shit. On some like, on some like psychological shit. Like he, he's, he's, you know, in his head, he's romanticized this whole like love affair when in real life, she just like auntie to him. Well, do we, and, 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 and from what I understand that, that could, he's had problems in the past. Yeah. Because he's never, he never said he, he's using a lot of elaborate language and it, that could be taken out of context, but he never said we had sex. And she's denying that it's sexual. I mean, of course she's denying it's sexual, but he never flat out said like, "Yeah, we're fucking. He's just using a lot of words like, I, I was fully you know, invested in this. In this romance, on, in the, in the this relationship. Of our relationship. Yeah, like he's, it's like he's using a lot of elaborate language but he ain't really saying we smash. So could this just be, you know, this brother needing some psychological help? I don't see, I don't know him, you know? I, I don't know him well enough to assess him. You see what I'm saying? Like, I only know a little bit about him here and there, you know what I mean? No jokes, Godfrey? This come on, this is all you, bro. No, I mean, I don't even know who that dude is. I just saw, I thought it was just maybe one of <laughs> like, Will's, oh, I thought it was Will's, way too serious right I now. thought it was a Will, 
a Will's son, another son of his. He looked kind of like them. They all look kind of alike. Those they look the like family. they look like they could all be related. Like they got that light skin. He's that, in all the family pics. And Jaden <laughs> was like, Jaden was like, yo, Jaden got mad at him. They all look like siblings. They all. Wait, who was in all the family pics? Alcina. August Alcina. No. There's a whole montage of of him at the at the cookouts and the, the pictures with the kids. They went on vacation together. Well, maybe yeah. maybe they freaky like. So that. that's what I'm saying. So 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 so, so that's what that's so that's what almost leads credence to it. So like, what was he around for? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Boy, what was toy, he around boy, for? Boy, toy type. Like, 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 and let's, and let's not get it. You know what I mean? Well, she, she said, uh, you know, all, all of the, all of this rumbling started when he, he wrote a very lengthy birthday post to her last year. And, and she, you know, she, she explained it on Red Table Talk as, he came to uh, a Willow and, and Jaden show, and then I guess he talked to uh, uh, Jada met him and was just talking about, yo, you know, something about he needs help, or she she pretty much assumed the role of life coach, and, and just from there, they kind of took him in as a son, and he's practically like part of the family now, so... That's that's how he got fused into the family, and then and now you you see where it's at. Well, wow, you could so be like you could be a house guest. <laughs> you know what well, I'm saying? Well, here's the thing: if that's the case, man, you know, it's a shame because most people would rather believe the worst. You see what I'm saying? Like we would rather believe the rumors that we've always always heard. Yeah. Um, but if she, if that's what's really happening, is she just trying to be some sort of life coach to him? And you know, because that happens, people people fall in love with their doctor, and you know what I mean. The the person that they really look up to, and you know what? I love you. It's right. you. Like and he, and she's like, whoa, hang on, I wasn't trying to. You know what I mean? Um, I, and I think I think this is one of those. I mean, the obvious go to would be like, oh, yeah, he smashed. But I think this could be one of those situations where, you know what, how about we just sit back and see what what facts unfold? Like we could very well find out like this. This wasn't sexual at all. Like, you know, never know. Uh, he said there's well, he, uh, who knows, but his album's coming he out. He used the word romance a lot. I would say that. And, and, he, and, he, and he said, well, what he did confirm, what he did confirm was, no. uh, I, he said at some point, you know, their marriage transitioned to a life partnership. It was right. like, whoa, whoa, wait, you, you letting us know that thing. <laughs> you know what that means. Right. And, 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 you know, I don't know. Jada Not said, for nothing. Jada I just said, feel like she's, she would boy toy a nigga like that. Like, I feel dude, like. Is, dude, she dated Tupac, motherfucker. <laughs> gotta get mine. You gotta get yours. I gotta get mine. <laughs> you gotta get yours. Yeah, get yeah. around. <laughs> yeah, right. I get around. <laughs> round and round. Your girl round keeps she go. paging me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Baby, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, at the, at but the yo, day, what I was gonna say, um, 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 damn it, um, I was gonna say shit, yeah, boy toy. I was up, was gonna say something about Jada shit. Like boy that. toy, Stella getting her groove. Da, 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 damn. Hey, I got a question for you. What's up? How ill? What if uh, you know, what if the roles were reversed and this was a uh? older married man and like this because uh you know people were kind of on jada's you know some some people were on jada's neck like oh you know that's abuse you took advantage of this of, of this young gentleman then you know then there's the rest of the world like shit i got permission to smash jada she so yeah. you know that was almost like a woo woo now i'm yeah. curious to know how the world would react if this were, you know, if this was an older man, younger woman, you know, would this be like a, 
a, a Me Too fight or, you know, how would how would this play out in the in the press? Just I don't curious. No, I mean, well, first of all, it ain't like this, you know. He like, ain't a, he ain't a like kid. That's what I'm saying. Like, he ain't underage. How old, is he? how old is he? How old is he? 20 on, his 20s at least. I'm, I'm about to get his age right now. I know but, he's young, but. But, it, but yeah. how old was. I know he's old was, enough to drink. How old was he in 2015? I don't think he's that old. Hold on. Well, if he's 18. I know he ain't just finished drinking titty milk, I'll tell you that. Mm hmm. Hang on. Let's see. He's oh, not a Jada week off like, titty milk. Jada said in her Red Talk table, she's never going to divorce. Oh, yeah, he's, 20, he's 27. Okay. Yeah, so he's, he's never going to divorce. Old. He said he's never going to divorce. She said she's never leaving the family. Right, they ain't got a divorce, though. For her right. To still bring a nigga, you know what I mean? Right. And so now you can need to look in the pictures and see who else was there. Well, you know what? I say, hey, if it, if it, if it works Because Will them, probably had somebody there for himself. If it works for them, it works out. Hey, yeah. You know, oh, wasn't it? But Will okay. had a girl. Will was taking trips with a girl, but he wouldn't take pictures with her. That Spanish-looking chick. Who, Margot Robbie? Or so, I somebody. There were rumors about Margot Robbie. There was, there was some girl he was going out with, and it was, like, known. And, but they would never take pictures together, but they'd be on this, in the same place together. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hey, so. if it works for them, it, it, whatever, hey, you know, right. works for them. As long as people are truthful. As long you know, as they're right. They Matt, just lying. Matt. They just lying to everybody else. But as long as they know what each other's doing, we, right. we know marriage is a partnership at the end of the day. So you know, whatever come falls under the umbrella of partnership, and you need to dig over there and knock yourself out, baby. Wait. So before we move on, uh, quick consensus around the room. So who mm -hmm. thinks that this is what it is? Like who thinks that? Uh, that uh, uh, Jada Pinkett is smashing August Alcina. Raise your hands. Is what? Is smashing August Alcina. Raise your hands. Diggers <laughs> <laughs> don't okay. have raise that either. You win it or you not. Yeah. You believe it or no? So you 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 think she's just mentoring? Them. That's what you. Damn, Digger. If you don't. Stand. I don't. When women, I'll women. Be, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm rolling. Just go with your intuition. I'm going with my intuition. My intuition says, yeah, this man. Yeah, the men say, yeah. I'm saying she's a life coach. Yeah, yeah exactly. She's she a life coach, all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, son. She a life coach, all right. Hold up, time out though. I saw a picture of him in some speedos. I, no, you know what? I take that back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did just, I saw a picture of him with some Speedos. Like, I said, nah, I understand. I, yeah, yeah, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. <laughs> All right, then. Stop I ain't even, I even mad at you, Jada. <laughs> That's anyway. what I'm All right, let's see. Uh, Next, we have on to music. Did anybody tune into the BET Awards? Nope. They were actually great. A little were, bit. Oh, was it really good? Really. I like I like the virtual platform. I almost want to see it like that forever. I really want. I really hope they do that for the hip hop awards. Yeah, it's where you don't have to be together. It'll be organized. It's weird not not having. At an awards, you 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 you're used to hearing the crowd. You're used to hearing applause and all of this type of shit. And it's just weird not having none of that. It, but isn't it, it, is, it is weird seeing performers with without the crowd. But one thing one thing that always throws me off comedians without the laughs, especially the, the hip hop awards in in Atlanta, because I feel like I feel like the that seat filler audience in Atlanta is a demographic that's only there for like a certain thing. And it's like, when you're seeing anything else outside of the Lil's performance, the crowd just looks so befuddled. Yeah, it's yeah, almost no, like, those tapings it's almost are like worse. The, the, it's like the crowd never matches the, what's going on on stage. Like any artist, any artist from New York is shit performing, the crowd is like, 
but the Lils, you know, they turned up. So it's like I, I can, I can kind of like do without, except for seeing the celebrities and and all of their, you know, splendor. Like the rest of the seat fillers that be in the in the audience is like y'all blowing my job. Right. Um, I never, I didn't see anything. But it was I know, really I, I, all I did is with the Public Enemy remix. That was dope. It that was, fight, it was, fight the power shit. I, mm -hmm. with Nas, that was yeah. I like that it, shit. Every co conscious music has made a has made a resurgence. Thank you God. Got, you got Thank the, you, white folks. You got the baby on his conscious shit. Yo, the baby white, shit you know, was tight. The baby hey. was impressive. I was like. Humming a humming a oh. him and a huh, humming a huh, huh. Even that, yeah. the, the video with the neck, the knee on his neck, he was able to actually say some lyrics. It wasn't like humming a humming a can't breathe, humming a <laughs> Christian Dior, Dior. It wasn't none of that shit. It was like uh. the baby shit was tight. I was like, I was watching it. I said, all right. Yeah, I, I like that. I didn't really watch it like that. I mean, it was, it was all right. Nah, it was dope. I, I mean, it was definitely very heavy on the Black Lives Matter, but, you know, the fact that you can't, you know, you can't run from, uh, you can't run from the fact right now that this is our time and, you know, I'll keep saying we need to capitalize on these, uh, off this oh, yeah. white guilt right now, so fuck it, drill it. Why, I'm why, here why, for it. While white guilt is high, we gotta sneak in all our shit now while That's they right. are That's so right. apologetic right now. What do you need? What do you need? What do you want to pitch? What do you want, Ron? What do you, you want to bring back Mules? Sure. Ah, ah! Public, hey, Public Enemy want to drop a new record? Let's get it. Sure. Well, uh, you know, we, won't call it, we won't call it Black Ball anymore either. We're not calling it Black Ball. Black Ball, uh, Black Friday, Black Mail. We're changing that too. Well, I think we need three million dollars for a conscious God cast. What do y'all think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got a show right here that needs to be heard. Yeah. And the fact that they've been fucking with us on YouTube, trying to pull back the 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 the, 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 the advertisers and stuff. Have they? Have they? Ooh. Oh man, for a lot of people, man, it's just, YouTube been on some shit, man. Um, yeah, we need somebody to step up to the plate and bring some real dollars yeah. and, and to, the, to this black media. Now let's defund the police and fund the God cast. Fund the police. Uh, uh, fund the police. Fuck them, fuck Fund the God cast. Let's make it happen, let's make it happen. I'm here for the black liberation movement. Okay, uh, people well, was loving that Black Liberation yeah. Party. That is the they one like thing that in the we can agree in the on. Right? Yeah, yeah, they like that. <laughs> Word. Uh, well, let's keep it in the spirit of music. Uh, there was a versus this past week with Fabulous and Jada Kiss. <laughs> now, <laughs> that, that was definitely one of the most. That was definitely one of the most entertaining verses that I was seen. it. I it was. It. Oh, Jada was so drunk. Oh, that's it's a whole new thing now. Shout hashtag, out Shy Ezekiel. Hashtag Jada drunk. Like, Jada like yo, I'm fucked up. The next song we got here. <laughs> he was so drunk. Really? It didn't go well. Um, no, it went great. I mean, I, I think the overall takeaway was that he won. Um, I don't know whose idea it was to keep it in the street. I believe I'm Shout gonna out to you, give 100. I'm gonna say Jada Kiss mind fucked Thank Fabulous you. into playing all their street records, and it's like Fabulous, you are a chick anthem radio hit master. Why on earth would you fucking listen to Jada Kiss and try to battle him with street records? The locks. Come right. on. Yeah, it's over. And it's solo shit. Woof. Now, the first half, the first I'm upset half, that I missed this. The fir first, first of all, first of all, no, 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 first of all, this, this, this one over here, you know, she probably hits me, I don't know how long after it, but she hits right me after it. After it. Talking about. <laughs> Did you ask the Jada? Uh, uh, no, Digger. I had no idea about it. 
why would you not hit me before or during? They should have a hit, run. You're going to hit a nickel after it. Like, what kind of sense does that make? Like, 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 no, you first know all, damn well this is some shit we need to be talking about. First and, of and, all. And, and, and it did not come to your mind. First of all. Before, during, first of all, first instead of, all, of after. I'm just saying. First of all. I'm just saying, sister. First of all, you are supposed to be my hip hop OG. Ooh. Why? Why am I Ooh. you up on hip hop? Because you're the Instagram. Ooh. You're the Instagram Ooh. queen. You be all up on the social no, media. I don't be on the gram like that. I don't be on the gram like that. I don't know what's going on on the gram. Ooh. I ain't no Instagram queen. I'm a hip hop queen. So Ooh. yeah, but you be Instagramming. You be Instagramming and you be tweeting and you be twittering too. You be Ooh. on the Twitter Ooh. and you be and you be on the Instagram. Ooh. Okay. What you what you just say? What you just sneak in? I, I should, what? said I said I am a hip hop queen and as a hip hop king, you should have been. Ooh. Listen, as a hip hop king, <laughs> I was doing some other shit. And I don't know, I don't know every damn versus that's going on. They not shooting me the versus schedule. Um, I had no idea that was even happening. But um, all I'm saying How you want to not know about fabulous? Because you know why I don't know? Because Dig Angel. Oh, oh. damn. Because you, how did you find out? Because when did I you find out? Me. When did you find out? It pops out on Instagram because she's on Instagram. Right. Because exactly. I be knowing what's when going on. When did you find out? Culture. When when did you find out? While it was going on or before? I am culture. No, I knew days ago. I set it oh, alarm. So for. why you ain't made knowledge born? This is oh, for, you, this you is said you, you made it you set an alarm for yourself. You see, these days you can easily add somebody to those alarms. You can make an invitee to these alarms, you see, but did you do that? No, you only thought about yourself. Oh, ooh. okay. Anywho, okay. Damn. But now, and and you didn't even watch it since I told you, so we could discuss it now. I, that's okay. I, I asked you to send me a link. Did you ever send it? No, you just sent me pictures of of of, of, of Jada looking drunk. You sent me that. That was not, that I've was seen that. a million of that picture with Jaden. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> first one I saw of that, it, no. it, it, no, it okay. was that same picture. Listen, it was that same picture. And it had okay. fabulous, okay. under fabulous. Yeah. And it said yeah. we, if and, then, like and it said liquor. Alcohol. Jamar, stop talking. <laughs> All jokes aside, the playlists are available on Tidal. Um, the first half was, uh, I guess, the street I joint. The playlist. I want to see them do it. And then the second half, well, it's available on YouTube or Maybe or YouTube. versus somewhere. YouTube the second half uh, was, I guess, the hits battle, if you will. I think Fab definitely made a nice comeback in the second half, but I don't think it was enough to undo all of the damage that was done in the first half. And then a lot of these verses. Like the key factor to winning them is song placement because not for nothing, Fab could have easily won. Like as fabulous in a versus battle, how do you not play Superwoman? How do you like? There were a lot of obvious mom, 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 mom. records. Mom, 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 mom. Yeah, like why would you not play that in a in a in a versus? So there were a, there were a lot of uh, times he dropped the ball. He he let DJ Booth. Uh, pick all the records for him, and and you know I don't know if that was Ooh. playing. You know I don't. Uh, somebody named Booth B O O F. DJ so, Booth. So yeah. So but me what? But I'm hearing that Envy and Clue and all of those were uh, all those other guys like people that were a part of you know that are part of his legacy was in the building. So I don't know if that was done on purpose. Like I don't know why he wouldn't have had Clue do it, but. Uh, you know, I guess that's how they had it set up, and like, no, I don't know. No, I don't, did you see Alicia Keys and John Legend? 
There was Alicia Keys and John Legends versus. I mean, I I saw them, but I didn't watch it too much. Alicia yeah, well, now this John this Legend, they did one too. Yeah, they did one they, in the same they room. They were they were back to back on pianos. Yeah, I didn't hear shit about that. Because uh, you're not culture, man. Instagram, man. <laughs> Instagram. Oh, wow. Swiss Beats is on Instagram. You, you they show it. Oh, yeah, you you feel man, I'm, I'm, I'm in the garden trying to fucking make vegetables grow, man. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all motherfuckers doing. Like. Man. Uh, well, what type of shit I'm doing, man? Uh, DJ Booth is Wendy Williams DJ. Oh, somebody just put in the comments that's Wendy Williams DJ. Well, he cost Fab the verses because there were definitely uh, records. There were shit. There were even mixtape records that Fabulous could have came with that I didn't hear. I just, I don't know. Mm. Uh, well, well, uh, anyone who you know that's watching this that may find themselves in a versus battle in the future, uh, song placement is everything. So you can be the largest artist by far, but if you're not countering with the right records, then you're you're gonna lose. It doesn't mean you're any less great of an artist. It just means they win money for that or something. No, 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 no. no it's it's not really a, a money thing. It's, it's like your a... go up, your profile increases. It's it's all of the other perks that come. I don't it's know. What's with all I know. I think they're gonna make some sort of documentary. You know, AD. You got BC before COVID, and you got AD after Donald. So. <laughs> We're gonna make some AD documentary. Shit. Yeah, hmm. And um, and I think that is pretty much it for music. Um, I've got some music highlights uh, that I'm gonna address really quick. Public Enemy released a new track called "State of the Union." Right. STFU. Um, dope. I actually heard that. Yeah, How was it? Um, it's dope. It's, it's though I mean it's 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 public enemy doing public enemy. Very, we need public enemy right now. Come on, very, we, very, we need that very shit. On, very consistent with what they've been doing. Very on code with what's going on right now, and and they were actually uh, broadcasting it on CNN with Chris Cuomo. We, that was great. We, yeah, I saw that. We need a self destruction thing. We need a. You know, we're all in the same gang type of thing. We need all the rappers to come together. A we are the world hip hop something. That would be the shit. It's I think it's perfect time. You know what change, I mean? Cause we're all in the same gang. Yeah, yeah, we're all in the same gang. Yo, this is Toe Loke with the Bidja Boo. Bidja Boo, Bidja Boo, Bidja Boo, Bidja Boo. In a world. Dude, those two songs were the shit though. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> we're all in the same gang was tight. And uh, self-destruction was self -destruction. great. Self-destruction. That was D nine. Self destruction was the best one, though. Oh, of course, self destruction. That was, the, that was the standard. But they didn't do too bad with that. But yeah, no, that, 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 that was pretty good. That, I was that beat. Was I was kind of impressed. I was like, yo, these 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 these, these West Coast dudes, because the they was making was the great. beat change and all that. I was like, Man. And the video was tight with the gang thing. That wasn't too bad. I was like, oh, wasn't shit. too bad. Hammer was even in. I always Word. remember the old fucking Misha. <laughs> Make it change, keep Yeah, she made me mad. Make it change. <laughs> Yo, Aww. remember Fuck Tim it. Dog? Remember Tim Dog? He said, like, shut up, Michelle. You sound like a, a little kid on a swing. Shut the fuck up, girl. Oh, you can't that's sing. A, you sound like a little bitch on a swing. Is that that fuck Compton song? Yeah. yeah. Tip Dog. What's my mother's name? Recipes, Tip Dog. Fuck him. Recipes, Tip Dog. Oh, man. Tip Dog was hilarious. Oh. Yes, he was. Oh, that was the funniest fucking video. Oh. Uh, and also an artist that I would like to spotlight, someone that I've actually worked with. This brother's really dope. Like, there are so many, for everybody complaining about, like, artists not speaking to the times and, you know, the, the Michael Rappaport's, oh, where's the conscious music and stuff? There's a ton of it. So I want to shout out this brother, John Connor. Uh, he released the album, S.O.S., uh, maybe about a month or two ago. And for me, the standout track, on that album was called Black, uh, featuring Sister Tour, but he's really dope. Um, I hate to say, oh, this artist sounds like this person or that person, but 
Um, he, I, I will say he, he has Kendrick vibes, but I think that's just a, I think that's just a West Coast thing. He yeah. was, uh, he was signed to Aftermath for some time. He, he's no longer with Aftermath. But um, yes, check it out. Um, album SOS, John Connor. I have a song with him where it's, uh, it's called Storm Coming. It's like a Terminator theme record where I'm Sarah Connor talking to my future son. And incidentally, he happens to be named John Connor. And it, I've got uh, Chuck D is like, the way, you know, doing the outro and stuff. No. We, we did it some years ago, but... It, Sarah mean, Connor. Well, 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 also in music, uh, Complex put out like the top 50 albums of the year thus far. And uh, I'm proud. Yes, thus far, and um, I'm proud to say uh, Stove God Cooks Reasonable Drought has made it onto the list. Clap it up! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, Definitely a go to. If you are, uh, you know, if you're late to the party, please go check out Stove God Cooks Reasonable Drought, man. That got on there, independent, you know what I mean? No push, just straight up, you know what I mean? Just straight up hip hop prowess. Oh, speaking of hip hop, uh, Dr. Dre is going to get his money taken from him. Okay, he's getting a divorce. You know that. All oh, right. No, I heard no, about no that. prenup. No prenup. Oh, Word. shit. No prenup. Married None. for 20, what, 24 years? Whoa. Yeah. And she was with she was with him before all she the She was with and, him when he had on the, 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 the funny suits and the Kermit and Jerry oh, girl. So, oh, yeah. oh, she shit. ready to get paid. She's she about to get, to get He's worth $800 million. She, Oof. Not a, she about to... She about to Jeff Bezos that nigga. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and dick. Look at that. Yeah. Duck, 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 duck. She's like, what did you say? What'd you say? Ring Bitches ding ain't what? dong. <laughs> Keep the bells ringing. Keep the bells ringing. Ding, ding, dog. Ring oh. ding. Oh. <laughs> yes. That was, oof. I'm like, Nicole. Oh, huh? That's her name, right? Nicole? Ain't that yeah, her name? I think he was beating her, though, too. Was he? Was he? I think it was domestic. I heard domestic shit, too. Listen, now, those, uh, those, 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 those human growth sterile, uh hormones, you know not, what I mean? They, they not, fuck with people, man. It's not the first time we've heard Allegedly. that. Allegedly. Y'all heard he was beating Allegedly. her up, so she gets all this. She gets everything she does. Man, yep. He gets it. It's, it's karma. Whew. A lot of rumors around a lot of people. Like it's all legend stuff. I, I'm saying this is stuff that have just right. been heard. But yeah, that's I cannot confirm or deny none of this stuff. Nah, man. You no, know, but I've heard a lot of rumors. Wasn't me, man. About, about Mr. Dre. I didn't do shit. Similar to the rumors I heard about Mr. Smith. But anyway, um, oh, wait, Todd yeah. Smith? No, Will Smith. Oh, 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 that, no, oh, yeah. oh, y'all just wilding right now. And I mean, <laughs> and, um, what? And I, what? And, we just talking about alleged yeah. rumors. And on uh, that, we mode, didn't say what no, they no. was. And, and, and with that, Godfrey, do you have any black facts for us, buddy? A black the, fact? I do this, got a black fact. This week on, uh, you know what I mean, did you know? Take it away, guys. Did you Bruce. know that Maria Van Brighton, Maria Van Brighton, a nurse from, um, from Queens, New York, in 1966, she was the inventor of the home security system. Marie, <laughs> you know, I Marie did Van Brighton. hear of this. I did not necessarily know her name like that. Marie but Van, I, I, Maria I've Van Brighton. A nurse, okay. she has the whole thing written out. How the schematics, did. right. And so all the ADTs and all that home security, it was a black woman, nurse from Queens, New York, 1966, Marie Van Brighton. Respect. Now, do we Roman know what Billy. drove Marie to, 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 to create the schematics for a security system? Motherfuckers she grew up house. in a... <laughs> She Who's got that? a crib robbed, huh? Yeah, she's like, shit. Yeah, it all makes sense. Like, 
when we invent shit. I grew up in the ghetto. I got tired of my house getting robbed. Getting robbed. And I, I said, I got to figure come. out a way Hell to keep yeah. these niggas out. Yes, Maria Van Brighton. Either that or she was trying to keep that, uh, she was trying to keep that ex out of there. <laughs> like, no oh, he got, like, he didn't, oh, you don't want to give me back the key? Okay. Okay, bet. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you for those. Uh, thank you for that. Did you know, Godfrey? Jamar, do you have any recommended uh, book readings for us? I do have a book. <laughs> for some people, it's, um, you know, this is a book that they probably had for years, but some people have never heard of it. Um, I think in the time that we're living in right now, where we're dealing with our health and all of that, we need to know about healthy, you know what I mean? Remedies and they trying to shove vaccines down our throat and all of that, but you know, that's the creator has created the vaccines right here on planet Earth. So uh, is your is your shit stuck right now, Digger? You look stuck. Oh no, I was cut the camera off for a second. I'm sorry. I was oh, just, just trying to on the side. dip out oh. for a minute. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay. But well, anyway, I'm just gonna talk through it, but fuck it, you black. My you my book, yeah, I thought she was like listening intently, and then I'm like, hang on, she looked frozen. Oh, uh, no, yeah, so the I'm book I've chosen I'm is a book. Intently. What's your book? A book I've had for years. It's called Back to Eden. Back to Eden. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Jethro Kloss, The Authentic Kloss Family Back to Eden. It's the classic guide to herbal medicine, natural foods, and home remedies. Okay. Damn near any ailment you can think of, you look it up in here, and they have a natural homeopathic remedy for it. Back to um, Eden. Back to Eden. This is a Show book that. Show that one more time in the, in the in the camera. Like hold it up. Like hold on. Yeah, we're gonna we're Wait. gonna we're gonna. Oh, oh no no back we'll back it up back it up. There it is right there right there perfect perfect. Right there. Yeah. We'll do yeah. a nice little, uh, you know. Yeah. My Back man Greg will put it up on the screen. Okay. I cool. want to shout out my man Greg Abraham, who is basically now part of the show. He, um, you know, he's been doing the editing oh, as cool. of late and, you know, the new thumbnails and helping to give us our new format that we've been doing. We've been chopping up videos, and I just want to say that, you know, I appreciate everything he's doing to add on to the show. Um, thank you, sir. Yes, thank so, you. So yeah, back to Eden. Um, and like I said, this, this book has been a way of shit. This is the 55th edition. It's, it's, it first came out in 1939. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, yeah, and yeah, Jethro Claus is a white dude, but it sounds we know, like Jethro. Yeah, we know we know where this this is this is you know this is but not there were a couple, there were a couple white dudes original. that wrote sh there were some white dudes that wrote white people that wrote shit that the government's like yo shut the fuck up nope right <laughs> like. Tesla. like Behold the pale horse, Iceman inheritance, those guys. Right. Well, this is actually this is a great book, and I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. So go out and get you back to Eden, man. Trust me, you will uh, not regret it. It's a book I think we all need to have. Awesome. Well, thank you for that recommended reading, Brother Jamar. And uh, you're welcome, Digger. In closing, let's see any, uh, le oh, um, top story of the day. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, partner of Jeffrey Epstein, was arrested today. Um, if convicted, she faces up to 30 years, but she is also charged for recruiting and uh, aiding and abetting in the abuse of uh, underage girls. So she's right. part of Jeffrey she's done. Epstein's. She's a now, yeah, hiding away in her. Now, now, I just want to. 
I just want to bring attention to somebody just sent me a an article, right? Mm -hmm. And it's talking about her, right? But it says, note the date. And this is on the BBC News. It says, Justine Maxwell moved to intensive care as coronavirus symptoms worsen. Uh -oh. Oh, here we go. Now, but the date, listen, the date says July 11th, 2020. Today is only July 2nd. So now, if we hear that this broad gets corona and then suddenly dies, see, this is some shit that probably got leaked early because all of their shit is scripted. So if somehow she gets corona and dies in, in police custody, um, we know the fucking fake fucking bullshit that's going Maybe on. Maybe you heard it here first. Now, we're not sure when this particular segment is going to end, but just know right now we're saying this on July 2nd. Saying this on July 2nd, correct. I don't give a fuck if within the next few days they have to say as so symptoms worsen. You understand? Oh, yeah. So within so the I next few days, they're going to say that this broad, it looks like they're going to say that she has corona. Let's see. Let's see if that happens. Or, or committed suicide. Something's coming. Something's, Something's coming. coming so that she can go to the island and join her fucking man because this was the fucking plan the whole time. Because if y'all think this motherfucker is dead, you know. <laughs> I'm not dead. I got islands and all kind of shit to sell you. Well, I think that just about wraps it up, guys. Anything anybody else wants to add? That's it. All right. Yeah. Nice. I mean, follow everybody on their social yeah. media. At Comedian. Law. Sorry. Comedian Godfrey on Instagram. Uh, my podcast is in Godfrey. Life. In Godfrey, we trust on the Gas Digital Network. Subscribe with promo code Godfrey, and you'll see me on the live on Instagram tonight and every right. night on the late night. Late night, baby. Yeah. Oh, see, I, I could pop in with you tonight, Godfrey. I got the face beating there. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. She says that now. I'm Watch ready. This. <laughs> She'll be like, I'm tired. By next, week, by tired. next week, Digger's gonna have a mic. Digger's gonna have a mic hooked up. For sure. Right. Now I'm ordering yeah. that tonight. I'm I'm getting that. I'm jumping oh, off. Right. Um, but yeah, shout out to Anubis in the background that's been snoring. I know y'all heard him. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, sound like a grown ass <laughs> motherfucker. But hey. see, we all nice and formatted tonight. That's boring to him. <laughs> <laughs> he missed he missed him or whatever. I was wondering yeah. what that sound was. <laughs> I tried to go in my little booth last week and that shit fucked my back up. I didn't have the proper chair in there and I'm still paying for it. So I'm back out here snoring dog. But okay. <laughs> you out of that cell block. You had to you had to cell Yeah. Block. Yeah. I, I got out of there. I got out of there. I'm back out in the world. <laughs> you I was back in out solitary. In, yeah. You I was back in out solitary. in Pop. Good to have you, brother. Back, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Word. But yeah, so. Well, that's it, one, guys. Another one in the can. At the real rock. Appreciate y'all for joining us. YouTube Live. We see y'all. Thank you for anybody that donated. Don't forget, donate for uh, Rage's Home Going. Shit, I, I seriously need like 50 people to do a hundred dollars a piece. We can just get this out of the way, or a hundred people do fifty dollars, or you know, you know what it is 5,000 people, 5,000 people do a dollar. Where anyway, we, we, we're gonna make this happen. Um, we love y'all, we appreciate y'all for joining us every week. and. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, once again for the United Mean Godcast, I am Lord Jamal. I am Digga Digga. I'm Godfrey. Peace. Peace. Peace.